Welcome back to my relocation series here on Madden 19, where Antho Schrambush is now the owner of the Raiders. And the Raiders will, you know, soon be the Chicago Blues after this offseason and everything. But right now, we have to re-sign our staff or elect to not re-sign them, I guess. So pretty much the general consensus is that I should just fire all of these guys and, you know, just sign new people. I think someone said to keep Gruden, but the majority of people who commented what I should do said to fire Gruden and fire all these people here. So I think that is going to be the route I'll take. And then I'll have to sign a new coach. I'm not sure if I can edit his name. It'd be cool if I could. Maybe I'd make him someone, you know, from my past franchise or something. Or maybe I can edit it that way. I don't really know. Honestly, I've mentioned this in the last episode. I've never done one of these before, so I have no idea what's going on. But this guy's level 13, but he has bad regression, so... That's probably not good. Is he a trainer? Yeah, he's a trainer. Okay, so definitely want good regression. I I'm assuming you'd want good regression. There's no way that's ever a good thing. You know, that guy's a good linebacker overall scouting specialty. Okay, well, anyway, these guys are all going to leave. And then we will, I guess, hire new, uh, yeah, new staff members. Now I am at the point where I can hire staff. $34.79 million in available funds. So... Level 30. Okay, there's some teams bidding. World class, world class regression. I think somebody suggested I go after that. And I think they said O-line overall for the scouting. This guy has world class, world class regression. I can't speak right now. And nobody's bidding on him. I think I'll go, I'm going to go after Ryan Glikowski. What a name. This guy also has the same regression, but no one's going after him. O-line overall. I see that guy here as a scout. I still need a head coach. What kind of coaches are available? Okay, so Matt Hedrick, Demetrius Turner. Okay, so I'm going to have to... <laughs> I can get John Gruden back. I'm going to have to base this off of what kind of what kind of schemes I want to run. Spread scheme, Tampa 2 defense. That's not bad. I want to run a 4-3 defense, so I want coverage outside linebackers. Tampa 2 could work. I don't want a 3-4. Multiple 4-3 vertical zone run, not a bad option either. I can always change the playbooks and everything, but... I think I want to go after somebody of a higher level. So let me try to, you know, let me try to sign some of these guys here. So we got a coach, we got a trainer, and we got a scout. I tried to go after these guys, at least these bottom two here, the trainer and the scout, based on the comments. I think this scout has like O-line overall, is what his uh, specialty is, and then got world class regression here. I guess that's a good thing. And then I just got this random coach. I think his name's Demetrius Turner. I'd like to change the name of the coach if I'm able to. I feel like I might be able to. I can probably like, hold on, wait, my coach. Can I, like... No, I don't know if I can change the name of him. No, okay. It would be cool if I can change the name of him. I would probably change it to someone... Like, that you guys would know if you watched my Anthro Shrine Bush series before this one. But anyway, I think I'll probably go to free agency. Like, that'll be the next thing I show. But I'm definitely going to scout. Also, the Super Bowl is between the Jags and the Rams. The Rams could totally make it in real life. Obviously, the Jags won't. But yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably see you guys in the offseason. I'm not going to like re-sign anyone or sign anyone in general. Um, I might actually re-sign a lot of these guys I signed in free agency, but I'm not going to go after anyone new because I want this team to be filled with some bad players and uh, some rookies and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys in the offseason just to you know see who's there. I have a ton of players you know who I can negotiate with since I signed most of these guys just in free agency. I'm not going to really bring, bring back many of these guys, but I'll show you who I did decide to bring back. TJ Green is the first one. He's actually like the highest overall here. I want him back because he has quick dev, 93 speed. He could totally start at strong safety for us if we really need him to. Donald Pumphrey I was thinking about, but I kind of want to draft a running back of the same skill set, so I don't really need him. Maurice Harris I don't need. Nico Siragusa could totally start as well. He's rather young still, good strength. He's not terrible. Uh, Jalen Myrick is enticing because he's very fast, but also I'm sure a lot of these guys would fall into free agency once again. Bo Scarborough I was thinking about, but I didn't really want him. Nick Mullins I want back. He's going to be the backup quarterback. Also, someone suggested that I, you know, stick it out with Nick Mullins and start him for this next season. I like that idea. It's not a bad one at all. But I also really like the idea of drafting a quarterback year one, trying to build this team around that quarterback and making him into a beast. Also, there's a decent number of quarterbacks in this draft, so I think it'll be fun to try to draft one. Gus Edwards I'm going to be keeping as my power back, 240 pounds. You know, both Scarborough is big too, but Gus Edwards is bigger. 
I don't think he has as good of trucking, so I don't know. I think it'll be fun to have him as the power back. Paxton Lynch, I was thinking about bringing back, but I mean, I got Nick Mullins as my backup. I can always sign another one in free agency. Jason King is super strong, so I brought him back to the team. Roderick Johnson, Dorian Johnson, both young offensive linemen. Wanted to bring those guys back as backups, and I don't think I brought anyone else back here. I should probably bring back Daniel Carlson. He can be the kicker for the future of this team, so let me do that. Not 30 mil. Okay. I'm not even sure what number that is as the salary, but... He's coming back to the team. I'll take it. I don't think that was a... I'm pretty sure that wasn't a huge contract. I think I only gave him like 750000 something like that. So I don't really want anyone else here. Darren Waller is enticing, but again, I think he'll fall into free agency if I really want him back and if I can't, you know, draft the tight end. So there we go. That's free agency. At least the players I want to bring back. So now let's advance into the first period of free agency here. Let's see who's available. Like I said, I'm not going to bring anyone in. $90 million. I'm going to let the team go as it is, but let's see who's here. Tevin Coleman is the top guy. You know, no one really amazing looking. There's some decent players up at the top, but I'm not going to be, you know, signing anyone. I already mentioned that a couple times. I should probably stop saying it. But here's a look. It's pretty normal. I don't see anyone, like, out of the ordinary. Could have went after Jake Elliott to be my kicker, but it's okay. I'll stick it out with uh, Daniel Carlson. Yeah, so there's free agency if anyone cares. I have the first overall pick here in the draft. I think I'm actually going to be trading this pick away, though. There's no one who I really want in like the top five honestly there's like one decent looking early guy who i could go with but i think i'm actually going to try to get some more draft picks for this year kind of like i think i'll try to take the panthers let's see when do they draft seventh okay i'm gonna take their first their second and their first next year is that gonna work that did go through okay so now i have the seventh overall pick let's take this one kind of slow advance the next pick who went first overall Rich O'Connell, 82 overall left tackle. That would have been a good pick, to be honest. Cooper Page, right outside linebacker, 80 overall. Wasn't really looking at him. Simon Brunel, was kind of looking at him. He looks pretty good on the Lions. Tyrone Ananobi looks decent as well. Kind of looking at him, 81 overall. Trovon Rochelle, I was looking at him. Decent looking outside linebacker. And now the Broncos. They took Josh Demps, defensive tackle. So... I think the player I want is actually still available. I, I kind of want Buck Snyder, but I also really want this wide receiver, Bruce Par Parsons, because he looks kind of unbelievable. He's six foot five with a great combine. But honestly, I think Buck Snyder is too good to not select. He's very fast, four, five, nine speed, decently strong, good top three skills. I'm going to go with Buck Snyder. 82 overall quick development. Oh, that was a good draft pick. Ranked third, we took him at number seven. 86 speed, 86 finesse moves, 87 acceleration, 82 tackling, 80, 83 strength is still good. Yes, okay, that was a great draft pick. I'm excited to use him. I think AJ Council may have been the player I wanted, which really, really sucks. He literally went the pick before I was supposed to uh, select. So, I think that was the player I wanted. Oh, that is rough. Okay, it's okay. There's probably a safety who I can select later. I also kind of wanted a wide receiver, but he's no longer here. He was supposed to go in the mid-first round. I could go with Larone Cooper. Strong safety out of Penn State. Decent 40-yard dash time. Looking pretty good. But I think Pat Lindsey is too good to pass up. A- minus hit power is great. B-plus tackling and B-plus pursuit. He's also very strong. Not super fast, but I think this guy could be a stud. He's supposed to go in the late second round, actually, so I can hold off on him. I really don't have to take him just yet. I think I might go with a safety, then. There's still some quarterbacks here. There is still a ton of quarterbacks here. The one I wanted is no longer here, though. Actually, wait, let me see. His name's Anthony something. Yeah, he's no longer here, so I can't go with him. Okay, all right. I'm going to go with a safety. I don't want to take a quarterback just yet with there, that, with, you know, there being that many left. So, Larone Cooper, I think he's going to be the selection. He'll probably come in and start at strong safety. Welcome to the squad. 78 overall, quick dev. Took him one pick earlier than when he was supposed to go. So, I mean, I guess they consider that a reach. Not fantastic. 86 speed is good. It's not bad. Actually, it's pretty bad. Let's be real. 89 hit power is great. 85 pursuit, 84 tackling. Good injury as well. Okay, so he's not a bad looking safety. Probably should have won offensive line there, but it's all right. There's still a ton of quarterbacks left. I really still don't want to take a quarterback since there are so many here. With this pick, I could go with an offensive lineman. DeAndre Thurmond. I definitely need to select some offensive lineman. 
So let me think. I want this outside linebacker, and I want some offensive linemen, and I still want a quarterback. I think I can probably take one of each with these next couple picks. So let's go with... I think I'm going to go with the offensive... Or with the uh, outside linebacker first. Honestly, I think he's more valuable right now. Let's go with Pat Lindsley. 82 overall. Quick development. Man, he was ranked second. 91 hit power, 87 tackling, 87 pursuit, 80 speed isn't great, but it's still not too bad. Decent block shedding, good acceleration, and strength. Man, this guy is a beast. He's going to develop super well, hopefully. I think right here I'm going to go with a quarterback. How many are left? Oh, there's still so many quarterbacks left. Like, I don't even want to go with one yet, because I feel like these guys are all still going to chill here for a pretty long time, to be honest. I think I'm going to go with the offensive lineman. Honestly, I think they're he's way more important right now. DeAndre Thurmond. Very strong, good top three skills. Let's go with him. 76 overall. Quick dev. Okay, that wasn't a perfect draft pick, but he's still good. 87 strength is nice. Good blocking stats in general. He's definitely going to play. I'm definitely going to be selecting a quarterback here, though. I feel like they're all going to go by the time I pick again. I'm honestly not even sure how true that is. Chandler Sen. I could go with a guy with a really strong arm, good throw accuracy mid, and decent throw under pressure. Supposed to go in the early first round. I don't really like scrambling quarterbacks all that much, if I'm being honest. I kind of like guys who can sling the rock, so I'm actually just going to select this guy now. Chandler Sen. He's supposed to go in the early first round. We are in the, like, mid-second round. Let's go with him. 78 overall, quick dev. Supposed to go late first. I'm alright with it. Definitely alright with it. 93 throw power, 78 deep, 86 medium, 81 short. Really bad speed, but that's fine. Honestly, a decent pick there. We are now in the third round, and there is still some quarterbacks left. I guess I guess I definitely could have waited, but I I really wanted to take a quarterback while you know I was I was able to just in case they all got selected. So now in the third round, I have a pick in the fourth round. I took a safety already, so I don't really need this guy. He looks nice though. There's also a running back, Deron Nolan. Not too fast, but I still want to select this guy. 75 overall, normal dev. Not fantastic. Ranked 48th. Took him at number 65. 89 speed, acceleration, and agility. Not terrible, actually. 84 carrying, 81 ball carrier vision. Good elusiveness. Okay, so he's not that bad. Honestly, he'll probably start. All the quarterbacks are now gone, so at least I selected one at some point. Let's go back to my draft board here. I have a tight end in the fourth round. Probably go with him. Another running back. He might actually be a little bit better. Supposed to go in the mid third or in the early fourth okay that could be that could definitely be a look honestly derwin zellner oh man okay well who else do i even want to go with here any like tremendous looking player there's a good looking strong safety in the fifth supposed to go in the late fifth i definitely want him still decent looking receiving back here so there's another good running back later i think i'll take this guy in the late fifth i'm actually okay with that wide receiver i could select let me see. There's definitely still a corner I want. I really want this guy, Jermaine Leno. He's supposed to be a mid-fifth rounder. Definitely take him with my next draft pick. Okay, so I'm, I'm okay with that. There are still middle linebackers. I could definitely use a middle linebacker. There's a lot of positions I can use in this draft. I might go with Melvin Woods at some point as well. But right now, I think I'm going to go with this tight end. Ryland McGuire. Do I really want to go with this tight end? Like We still have Joshua Perkins, who isn't too bad. This guy's also only six foot two. So I actually don't think I want him anymore. I'm going to take him off the draft board. I could go with a middle linebacker right here just to just to get him. I'm running a 4-3 defense. I can actually use both these middle linebackers just as depth. I think they're more important than the running back. To be honest, this guy could have like star development though, which is haunting me a little. Man, okay. This guy's a better combine down here. I'm going to go with the other running back. I'm not going to worry about this guy. I'm not going to worry about this safety. Right now, I'm going to go with a middle linebacker. I'm going to go with Melvin Woods. Actually, he's supposed to go first. Might as well check that out. This guy's supposed to be an early fifth rounder. Let's go with him first. 74 overall, normal development. AJ Gardner. Very slow. Okay, he is insanely slow. I don't want this guy starting just because of how slow he is. He has good stats, but man, that's actually kind of tragic. I'm now in the fifth round here. An outside linebacker just got selected. He looked pretty nice. And all of our players are gone. Not all of them, but most of our players are gone. I wanted that cornerback really badly. That's frustrating. I guess I'll go with the running back. Daniel Griffith. He has star development. That's pretty cool. 74 overall. 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 agility. Okay. 
79 catching. Pretty good looking receiving back. Honestly, that guy might start this season. So I'm kind of confused with this Brody Colmar guy. Because he looks decent, right? It says his talent is a late third rounder. And he's like, you know, a red gem. Which usually means he's not a good player. But he's actually projected at the top to go in the mid-seventh. I'm going to take this guy. 73 overall normal development. Okay, that's definitely not a bad player. I feel like he'll even start a left tackle for us. That was like a weird looking player though, because it said that the that he was supposed to go in the third as if he fell down the draft board, but he actually would have went up a ton if that's where he was supposed to go since he was originally a seventh rounder. I don't know. I'm all right with that pick though. This draft hasn't been bad by any means, but definitely wish it went a little bit differently. I wish our like later round picks were, were still available. I'm going to go with this punter though, just to get one. Ross Fury. 76, normal dev. 94 kick power, 87 kick accuracy. Okay, he's a pretty good punter. Now let's just see who's available. Honestly, I kind of still want to select a corner in case I can find one over a 70. I'll probably start, to be honest. I'll take this guy with my last pick. So, we have one more draft pick. Let's go with, uh, let's see. Let's go with a corner. Is that cornerback still here? He is not. Parker Hambrick. Ooh, he does not look good. I'm just going to look around for a decent combine and then just try to blindly select someone. I'm going to go with this Michael Spellman guy because he's pretty fast and has decent hit power. I know that much. Select him. 71 overall, normal development. Okay, so over a 70 still. 86 speed isn't too bad. Good hit power. Not a bad pick at all, actually. With this last pick, let's select this fullback. It's actually pretty fast. For a fullback, 475 speed. Here we go. 67 overall. The first player I selected so far to be under a 70. 80 speed, though. Honestly, that's all I was looking for. You can definitely start at fullback. Let's check out the draft recap here. I want to look at some of these later guys to see what they're all about. So let's go to the entire NFL. It's weird that we're at the top now because I'm used to being at the bottom since I was the Raiders to begin with. So the top rated player is Rich O'Connell. 82 overall left tackle with quick dev. That was a good trade up for the Panthers to be honest. I thought this guy would be super powerful but he's not. 86 strength is still not bad. He has good pass block power. 74 speed. Nice too. Buck Snyder. We got the second overall guy. We also have this Pat Lindsley dude. Tyrone... Anunobi looks nice quick dev 81 overall he's supposed to be a power rusher I think all right so he looks pretty good 83 speed nice coming off the edge not too bad at all for the Titans that's a good scheme fit as well Ross Riley this guy I was looking at 80 overall quick dev 88 speed not that much faster than the dude we drafted he has good zone coverage though Glenn Yount Yount 81 overall quick dev I'm actually kind of glad I didn't draft this dude, right? So he has good throwing stats, but not good throw power. I really wanted somebody who can just sling the rock. I think this was actually the guy. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was definitely... Where is he? Ross Riley was the dude I wanted in, in the late round. I think in the draft, I said I wanted AJ Council. I I don't even think I had him on my draft board. He looks pretty good, but it was the other guy I wanted for sure. Cooper Page looking all right. Simon Brunel. Oh, this guy was very fast. 80 overall, quick dev. 95 speed. Looking real nice. Sean Hood won the Heisman. I almost took him. He has star dev. I was really close to taking him. I did not. He looks pretty nice, though. Let me look out for some other guys I scouted. Anthony Weaver is the quarterback I was thinking about selecting. I think he was the one who was, like, my highest rated quarterback out of everybody here. He looks okay. Honestly, not too much better than the guy we drafted. Because our guy's better throw power. I think better medium accuracy. About the same deep... I think Anthony Weaver has higher short and a bit better speed. So honestly, not that big of a difference. This guy was selected in the fourth round. He's a 79 overall. Wow. Lester Stallworth. I really wish I selected him. He is pretty great looking. I didn't even scout that many wide receivers if I'm being honest. A third round safety. Oh, don't tell me this is the guy I wanted. No, I think the guy I wanted later was a uh was a zone dude uh, not a zone a hybrid guy all right there's the there's the wrong cooper we got this guy he's not bad actually like the safety we ended up selecting not terrible he's definitely going to play jermaine leno is the corner i wanted to select 76 with normal 21 years old not bad not super fast 88 speed 91 acceleration 88 agility decent coverage stats as well i would have been pretty happy selecting him i'm pretty sure the team is now finalized for the 2019 season. So, let's meet the roster.
At starting quarterback, we got the rookie, Chandler Sen. Six foot four, 23 years old, out of Stanford, quick development. Has a cannon, 93 throw power, decent medium accuracy with 86. Good throw on the run, good short accuracy as well, 82 and 81 for those respectively. 82 throw under pressure could potentially come in handy. The only issue with him is that he's very slow. 68 speed is not good at all. The starting running back for this season will be Daniel Griffith. The reason I'm going with him over the other rookie is because Griffith has star development. He's a 74 overall, 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 86 agility, good pass catching running back as well, 79 catching and 76 short route running. The starting wide receivers are pretty decent actually on this team. DJ Shark will be the number one. Six foot four, quick development, 22 years old, 94 speed is the main reason why he's going to be the number one. The number two and the slot wide receiver is going to be Deshaun Hamilton. I really want him to be one of the higher overall players on this team at some point. 24 years old out of Penn State with quick development, 73 overall, 88 speed, 78 short, 79 medium, and 78 deep route running. Not bad at all. He's a good route runner. 90 acceleration is actually very good as well. 88 agility. He's a good shifty slot wide receiver. And then the other wide receiver who will get some playing time will be Shelton Gibson. He's more of a deep threat kind of guy. 24 years old out of West Virginia. 93 speed, 89 acceleration, 82 catching. Does not have good route running, but he has good agility. He's also going to be the kick returner for most of the time. At least the second kick returner, I think. So yeah, there's, those are the, the starting wide receivers. The offensive line got a bit better after this draft as well. We have the rookie, Brody Colmer starting at left tackle. Nico Siragusa starting at left guard. Roderick Johnson is going to slide into center. He's pretty fast. I think he can get the job done there. Another rookie now, DeAndre Thurmond. Or, yeah, got to pronounce that Thurmond. He's starting at right guard. He's pretty good. And then Colton Miller is going to be starting at right tackle. The starting tight end for this team is going to be Joshua Perkins. Nothing too flashy there, only a 72 overall, but he's not bad. The defense is much improved after this draft. I usually try to draft pretty defense heavy, you know, just in, in general and rebuilds and stuff like that. But let's start out in the secondary. Lerone Cooper, rookie, starting strong safety, quick dev, fits the scheme. Not super fast, only has 86 speed. Good tackling though at 84. 89 hit power is great. 85 pursuit is also pretty good. Poor coverage stats, but we can definitely upgrade those. The starting free safety for this season will be Monte Nicholson. 92 speed, 77 zone coverage, 91 acceleration, 83 hit power are his highest stats here. Continuing on in the secondary, Carlton Davis is going to be the number one corner. He now has star development out of Auburn. I want him to develop into a beast one day. Not the fastest with 88 speed, 89 acceleration is not terrible, 81 agility, but he's pretty tall and he's long, he's lanky, six foot one long arms. 76 man coverage, 79 press coverage, 71 zone coverage. I really want him to be the number one lockdown corner on this team. Recently acquired in free agency is the number two corner. I signed him just in the free agency period after the draft and everything, so I didn't actually like put a bid on him for a contract that assigned him to a one year contract. Rashard Robinson, six foot two with 93 speed. Not bad at all. I was just looking for a speedy guy in free agency. He's only a 71 overall, so he kind of fits the bill for this team. He's not a bad rental at all. And then coming in at the slot corner position, we have Nick Nelson, 5'11", 200 pounds, 22 years old. Not a bad slot corner, 88 speed, 89 acceleration, 87 agility, 77 man and press, and then 75 zone, pretty well rounded there. Now it's time for the defensive line. We have rookie Buck Snyder, the first draft pick for this team, 82 overall, quick dev. He looks tremendous, 86 speed, 86 finesse moves, 87 acceleration. I think he's going to turn into a god and completely be the leader of this defensive line one day. Arden Key is starting at left end, 6 foot 5, freak athlete out of LSU. 78 speed, 85 acceleration is great for his size, 77 strength is not bad either, 79 agility. Hopefully he can get the job done over there. One of the few players to actually stay from the original Raiders roster, it's Maurice Hurst starting at defensive tackle, 82 overall star dev. One of the older players on this defensive line at this point, 94 strength. One of the strongest players on this team as well, 83 block shed, 87 tackling as well. He's going to be a menace on the interior there. And then the second defensive tackle is going to be Eddie Vanderdoes. Since this team is a 4-3, he should get a decent amount of playing time. Not bad at all, decently young still, 90 strength is his best attribute. The linebackers are completely different now as well. So now, at left outside linebacker, we have Pat Lindsley. 
like the third ranked rookie, but he was selected in the second round, 82 overall as a run stopper, left outside linebacker, 87 tackling, 91 hit power, 80 speed, 86 acceleration, and 87 pursuit. He looks amazing. His only like downfall, and it's not even that big of one, is that he only has 80 speed, but that can be upgraded eventually. But he's a great tackler, he has great hit power, and I'm sure he's going to be at the ball almost immediately. Also, 96 injury. He's not going to be getting injured very often. The middle linebacker for this season will be A.J. Gardner, another rookie out of Georgia Southern. 74 overall as a run stopper. He has good tackling with 82, good block shed with 83, good hit power and pursuit with 86 and 87 respectively. The biggest issue with him though is that he only has 75 speed. Hopefully he can overcome that. 93 injury, again another player who should not be getting injured too frequently. I just hope that his 75 speed can get it done and hopefully that actually goes up over the course of the year. I think it's worth mentioning now, but Malik Jefferson, listed as an outside linebacker, but should be playing a backup middle linebacker for this team. Of course, I think he was a safety in college, so he's fast. 87 speed, 89 acceleration, 82 hit power, 83 pursuit, 80 strength. Not a bad linebacker. He should be the backup middle, backing up AJ Gardner. And I think he should get, you know, a decent amount of playing time, hopefully have some interceptions. Again, another player coming off of the Raiders' original roster. We have Markel Lee out of Wake Forest at left outside linebacker. Pretty well-rounded outside linebacker here. 87 acceleration is his highest looking stat. 83 tackling is not bad. Not the best zone of man coverage, but it's okay. He's tough. He's a good outside linebacker. He can definitely get the job done. So that is going to be the Chicago Blues roster. And that is also going to conclude this episode of my relocation franchise. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I hope the draft was nice enough. I think we drafted pretty well. Missed out on a couple guys, but we at least got a quarterback. We have a stud defense now, actually, with some very nice rookies. Okay, so it's not a stud defense. It's a 71 overall. But still, we have some nice pieces on this side of the ball who we can definitely build around. Next episode will be the start of the regular season. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, though, and I hope you're excited for this series in general, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.